why pass all these laws in Texas, homie? If the bad guys get to take, if the if the bad guys get to overrule, and this is an open carry state, and you don't have to have a license to carry, and we all got guns on our hip, why ain't none of these bad guys dead? And then why ain't none of these bad guys in jail? Cause somebody at the fair know that was Jimmy, Leroy, and Curtis that did that. Well, they caught one. He, he, yeah, they need to be torching him to tell on other. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, I, we were sitting here talking. They about need what, to be whatever they was doing to the Taliban. Waterboarding. waterboarding. They need to be waterboarding that loose area. Find out where the rest of these is at. Real life. Real life. Real life. It ain't real life. Just ain't real life. Real life street star. Speaking of things that were supposed to be fun that have gotten dangerous, the fair shooting. Um, why do you think that it just can't just go somewhere and have fun? Why does it have to be like we, a day like this or events like this where they just got to shoot up? Because if I shoot you in the closet and don't nobody see it, then I shot you for nothing. <laughs> yeah. I want people to know we did this. We want people to know we came out and did this. So most of these shootings are people with undeveloped brains. That's first and foremost, let's, let's identify this. Right. These are not logical thinking human beings with rational uh, forms of thought process. These are typically young people, 25 and under, who lack the brain capacity to make logical and rational decisions because there are impulsive individuals and creatures with undeveloped brain and most of them dealing with trauma and they trying to prove something. Right? Uh, if this was at, if this was the far, if this was during the time when white people was there, uh, it'd be a bunch of dead black people. Cause white people got them guns on their side and they go shoot and help and defend. Mm -hmm. See, the niggas go run, dunk it high because they don't know what to do. Nigga, but that's why when, when I'm out with my, my family, homie, I try not to go places where I can't get my pistol in and I can't defend my people and these niggas got these guns. If nothing else, while they having a shootout over there, you can be over here picking their ass out. Just like when Mo3 guy was getting shot at. It was an innocent guy in the car, got out and got to shooting at the dude that was shooting at Mo3. Mm -hmm. uh, why pass all these laws in Texas, homie? If the bad guys get to take, if the, if the bad guys get to overrule, and this is an open carry state, and you don't have to have a license to carry, nigga, we all got guns on our hip. Why ain't none of these bad guys dead? And then why ain't none of these bad guys in jail? Because somebody at the fair know that was Jimmy, Leroy, and Curtis that did that. Well, they caught one nigga. And he, he, yeah, they need to be torching him to tell on other nigga. <laughs> I was, I, I, we were sitting here talking they about They need to be, whatever they was doing to the Taliban, waterboarding. waterboarding. They need to be waterboarding that nigga in loose Terry, find out where the rest of these niggas at. Kicking in his dough, uh, arresting his mama for whatever traffic, unpaid traffic ticket she ain't got. Cause we need to find these other two motherfucking shooters. Your son went who, who, who did he lead with? That's how, that's what they would do in Colombia or Mexico. Yes, that's what we got to do to these niggas. Go arrest his whole family. <laughs> it was Sarge. It's two, it's two, two twin sisters here. Send them to CPS. <laughs> Separate everybody. And to this nigga tell us who was the driver who took him up there and then put it, yeah. Nah, you that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. See, the feds go to doing them nigga like that when they really want them, put charges on their mamas, their girlfriend, their sisters, and have everybody at the feds do it. And them nigga go to admitting the shit that they normally wouldn't admit to when mama calls and says, Oh, baby, they about to arrest me too, baby, baby. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what niggas? You gotta be a cold motherfucker to tighten lip on mama. They coming down on everybody. Is there anything? we can do as a city to make those type of days safer? Uh, 
I will. You take it to jail. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to go back to putting up Jim Crow signs. This city has to go back to the Jim Crow era. Uh, no colors allowed. Black and white water fountains. Catch your ass across these railroad tracks. You die, get your ass whooped or go to jail after a certain time of night. Niggas shouldn't be nowhere off of 75 Walnut Hill out there in that Holland Hill area, you know what? You shouldn't even go that way to go home leaving the club. You should be Loop 12 or 35. We catch you out. Yeah, you got to go back to that. Other Not than too. that, you have to take these days away. Uh, you just had to white boy shoot up everybody in Maine. We do this every weekend. We have to take these days away. You have to stop letting people under 25 come to the fur. If they come to the fur, you have to have a police checkpoint. Everybody out the car like they do at the prison visitation. Everybody out the car. Cut the car off, pop the hood, pop the trunk. We're looking in the glove compartment. Just like prison visitation. Damn, Not bend, only that, bend over and cough? No, 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 no. This is before you go into oh, the yeah, prison. Oh, yeah, okay. This is a visitation. This is a visitation, yeah. This, yeah. this before you go into prison. And when we get, when you get there, right, we pat searching every motherfucker getting out this car. We pat searching every motherfucker getting out this car. If you don't do that, then you continue to put everybody's life in jeopardy when you're dealing with this group of black people trying to have fun. Because... Death is attached to our fun. Death is attached to our fun. One of the young kids said uh, he wasn't running until a bullet hit him. Uh, that's some ignorant stuff. What well, do you that's why the bullet hit him. <laughs> <laughs> next time he don't run, I bet next time them motherfucking bullets pop, 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 I bet he run like a motherfucker next time if he can still run. God damn. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's why he didn't run. That's why he got hit, dummy. So see I gotta but listen. Ask. Go ahead. You don't run when you hear gunshots. Yeah, what's the protocol? You hit the ground, nigga, and learn to crawl on your belly like they do in the army when they have to go under the net. You use your knees and your elbows to pull yourself on the ground. You don't run and look around and try to assess, you use your ears. And you drop and you crawl. So you teach your children that. Real life.